Hello and welcome to Status Report. This is where I talk about ongoing or finished Let's Play series on my channel and kind of give you my sense of the game <laughs> as I feel about it. Not in the sense of a real review, but like a vague, like, this is how I'm feeling about the game right now. So I'm going to start up with Andromeda. <laughs> Mass Effect Andromeda was a game that I was already kind of afraid for before the game came out. Um, I had kind, I was kind of in a slump with motivation to let's play at that point. And Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3, especially 2 and 3, had been big participation uh, things on my channel. People have been writing in the comments and people have been tuning in every day, lagging, commenting, just interacting with me in all sorts of interesting ways. And the big dream of Mass Effect Andromeda was that it would be a return to those days because Dragon Age Inquisition had kind of fizzled out for me and and not finished when it when it had run its course. Even before Mass Effect Andromeda came out, rumbling started in the community, in the fan community. Uh, a lot of people were afraid that it would be a repeat of Dragon Age Inquisition. Dragon Age Inquisition is a very dividing game among the fan base in that it kind of ignores a lot of stuff from Dragon Age 2. And at the same time, the main villain in Inquisition is a DLC character from Dragon Age 2, which is just as weird. It it relied a lot of, on tie-in material. And I think, both between me and a lot of my friends, there was a fear that, like, if we had not been reading the books and the comics, and I believe there's an animated Mass Effect movie as well, if we haven't been keeping up with all that stuff, would we even know? most of the characters going into Mass Effect and Andromeda, but thankfully um, Bioware seems to have learned from Inquisition and it hasn't really fall, fallen into that um, problem. It does refer to the uprising a lot, but and that is a book event. Uh, it, does, it does make a good uh, framing device for why there will still be a lot of the old political tensions from the Milky Way and it, and why you would be fighting human enemies because I can see there being a problem in us only fighting aliens um, and it makes sense that maybe a lot of criminals would have used the opportunity to get out of the Milky Way so I am very forgiving when it comes to Andromeda at that point I think it is mentioned it is brought up a lot hey there was an uprising but it's not oh you're supposed to know who all these characters are which the problem was in Inquisition. The problem was that you were supposed to know a lot of characters that had not been introduced in the main games, and um, and that that's at least like a difference here. Like everybody can 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 like get the idea of an uprising. There was an uprising. Okay, there was an uprising. There was a rebellion. Okay, fine. Uh, during the series, I've been like, going through a little bit of an emotional roller coaster in regards to Mass Effect and Andromeda. I'm not afraid to admit that there have been entire weeks where I've just not looked at the game and just even not uploaded videos <laughs> because I just I haven't felt like touching the game. But in other cases there have been times where I haven't been able to put the controller down um, or I have been forgetting the, uh, the timer completely. Um, and most of these cases have been the the companion missions and certain uh, side missions. The game is to me at its strongest when it is um, focused, when the game is not open world. And that is not because I don't like open world games. I love Fallout, uh, the Bethesda Fallout games. Um, I did a huge playthrough of Fallout 4 on this channel. But Mass Effect kind of just does it in a weird way. Like, I thought I wanted um, the planets 
to be explorable again like they were in Mass Effect 1. But honestly, looking back, Mass Effect 1 had had smaller planetary segments and um you you kind of you kind of lose focus like where I'm supposed to go, where I'm what what should I be doing? Um because everything <laughs> everything is set up and this is an important thing to, to to underline here. Everything is set up to be important, but it doesn't feel important. Here I am back again talking about narrative and bioware, but this time I'm not gonna be as kind as I was the last time. Let's talk about shit feeling meaningful. Mass Effect Andromeda has a problem where it feels like you're at a renaissance fair or you're in a, a house of horrors. Feels like you're being told a story and you're an audience member participating in an in in a, in a stage act. No, fuck, okay, it does some things right, but it sucks at making side quests and sometimes even main fucking missions feel all that satisfying. And here I was pondering why they don't feel satisfying on my fucking throne in the Greek forum because I was the wisest of all and... Okay, maybe I was sitting on a different kind of throne, but listen. Cutscenes! By the way, a game needs some fucking cutscenes. Whenever you beat a mission in Andromeda and actually Inquisition, Definitely the basic character model shows up, slaps on enthusiastically and sends you on your way with a shiny golden star. And listen, I like Bethany. I think she's a great gal and she deserves praise for a job well done. But good lord, would I like to just get a little bit more familiar with Bethany. Maybe by using one of the oldest techniques in cinematic storytelling since ever. The fucking close up! When you beat a quest in old Bioware game, <laughs> Mass Effect 2. Even random dying Joe here at least got to gesture and muck for the camera a bit. Thank you for saving my life. You have the biggest sphincter in the galaxy. In CD Projekt's fantasy epic about Solid Sn I mean Girl the Rivia, even getting an old lady her pan back feels fucking meaningful. I don't know why, but it just does. Sure, it's the fantasy equivalent of brushing your fucking teeth, but it, but it, it felt something. I felt something. Something went on. An old lady was made happy. Basically, you have an actual scene of them thanking you and gesturing and making faces at you, and you can see the gratitude in her eyes. Barney the dinosaur got this right, and meanwhile, in Andromeda, animation 101 was somehow skipped. It doesn't feel satisfying to help people because the side characters in Andromeda don't feel like people. They barely feel like robots. It's like walking through a fucking Houghton house and talking to the animatronics. In The Witcher 3, the old lady is moving and mugging. Basic storytelling techniques are being used and as simple as it is, it makes her feel more real than a woman thanking you for saving her people from the enemy base. There's no puppetry and you're just taken to a beautiful wax museum which can be cool for an afternoon, but not for a 100 hour open world RPG. And considering storytelling and feeling like you're playing a role in the game is like, in the name of the genre, Bioware managed to drop the ball in a field they used to be on top of. It's such a shame to see them squander the potential of all this new firepower they're handling. Dragon Age 2 couldn't animate someone handing a fucking book to someone else, an Inquisition could, and did, but they never took advantage of it. The characters could interact with objects that aren't weaponry in the game world, Bioware just decided to never let them do so. And that transforms a house into a dollhouse. For everything negative I say here, please let it be underlined that had I hated the game, I would have dropped it by now. I still occasionally get these bursts of interest where I will sit down for two to three hours and just play the game no annoyances involved. And I will still forget the timer when I find that sort of interesting mission, usually companion based. There's definitely good stuff in it, you just kind of have to salvage it from the bigger package and that's what makes me reluctant to recommend it. But at the same time, I'm also reluctant to dismiss it. Because it has this weird limbo of feelings. And honestly, at face value, it's fine. It's just hard to take it at face value when you know of the legacy that it's building on. 
and how much fun I had with the original trilogy. I'm not regretting I bought it, but I am regretting I played it when I played it, and I'm regretting I didn't wait for a price drop. Um, I'm not done with the game yet. Um, I'm hoping for a big <laughs> moment again, because I actually just, after, before recording this, I actually had a big moment I really liked. And I'm hoping to to get another big moment. I'm, I love, I savor those moments. I just wish I didn't have to wait for a desert between each. Okay, thanks for watching this status report. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, do you like this concept? Is there any of my already done series? that you would like me to do a status report on and um, I'll see you guys in another video please like it if you liked it and leave me a comment I really like comments bye